Hello guys and welcome to my next review which will be my customized figure of Paul Kirby and a couple of Stego babies. So the figure's base is the Alan Grant that came with the 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 fence and the gates and stuff from the first Keener line that they just ripped off. And you know, considering that this figure is just as hard to find as Sarah Harding, I just thought I would customize one of the millions of Alan Grants that I have. And it didn't turn out too bad, I don't think. I'll grant you that's not passable as William H. Macy, but it's I think it's totally recognizable as that character. So, he's got the same head articulation as, you know, every Jurassic Park figure. Can you tell I just was painting and shit? Um, same arm movements. The only difference is that his legs are riveted. Because the, the figure that they... This is... Blah. The figure I painted was already a repaint from a previous figure from their line, which was the Raptor Motorcycle Pursuit, so that's why his legs are jointed, so you can sit him on top of the motorcycle and, and do all that. Next is this little Stegosaurus hatchling that actually came with uh, the, the Paul Kirby figure, but the, the plates were way too big, it just looked like a shrunk down adult Stegosaurus. And I'm not finished with these plates, you guys. I know they look really crude and choppy, but that's just because I haven't filed them down yet. Same with the, the tail spikes. But what I am showing you here is the paint job. And this paint scheme is um, based off the Jurassic Park 3 Stegosaurs, which were a little brighter green. And here's another little angle for you. And here's the the other Stegosaur figure, which I based more off of Claire, which was the little baby Stegosaurus from the Lost World. And this is actually the second time I've painted both of these figures, because, well, I'll just put pictures of my original repaint on them up with the, up in the video. But, uh, dry brushing, you guys. Dry brushing has made all of the difference in the world with my repaints. I see uh, uh, people have been getting more into the repainting, actually, I've noticed. And I've noticed that a lot of people do what I did at first, too, and just you just glob it on, but you don't need hardly any paint at all. Just put a little dab on your... Not even a dab, just the tiniest little amount on a dry brush and just lightly go over it, and it'll give you that naturalistic, pebbled look. So that's pretty much it. I don't know really what else much more to say about these figures. I've painted them. I've repainted them. I will probably post an update on on the Jurassic Art and Customs page after I get the 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 plates to my own standards. So, yeah, you know Keep watching, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. I enjoyed painting these, and I enjoy making the videos, so... Uh, keep posted. I'll try to... I'm gonna try to upload a new video every week. At least. Salutations, everybody. Uh, I've got quite a bit more followers in the... Last four months that I've I've been away doing school stuff, so that's neat. Not a whole bunch. It's still like you know, pat under fifty, I think. But it's it's cool that everyone's liking this shit. So make sure to check, look for my page on Facebook. Like I say in all my other videos, uh, like like my videos, comment. I I want feedback, you guys. Feedback is awesome. Have a good one.